Welcome back to more vampire. Hopefully I can get out without blowing up inside the warehouse this time. Like a damn noob! Kiss my ass, sea bass! Get my nut! There we go. Groovy. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Yeah, I did it. The hell are you gonna do about it? You're new to this life, aren't you? I'd wager you haven't insulted some of the older ones yet. But this is a city of opportunity. Who are you? Why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time. For different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me. Have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I saw a ghost at a local hotel. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. The Santa Monica Baron has a split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Other than that, I really haven't seen anything extraordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Night, Beckett.
What's up, cutie pie? Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? What's the deal with you and Therese Vorman? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. I think Therese really wanted you dead. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Fame and power do not intrigue you. I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. Did you know she and Jeanette are the same person? Like what? Maybe I asked the wrong thing. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Mm. Tell me about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Before we go to Venture Town, let's see if we can do some more questicles here. Apartment above the pawn shop. The blood bank. She lives in the apartments where I live. Hmm, okay. Five oh seven. Got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. I've intercepted a message from Mr. Durbin. He said it downtown to the Skyline Apartments. 2A, the residence of Mr. Milton. He's also expecting a call from someone named Reno. You should report back to Arthur. How many boats do you own?
21 experience. Hot dog. How you doing, girl? Yeah, I got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? Skip town. You fled someplace downtown. All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Hey there. Need something specific, like, or uh, just here to shoot the breeze? Just stopping by to... Bye, Arthur. Can I bounce a few questions off yeah? you? Yeah? What do you want to know? How do you like Santa Monica? Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Sounds like Santa Monica's seen better days. Hell yeah. I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure, pal, what is it? What place you want to know about? Yeah, sure, where? The old pier used to really draw in tourism money, but it don't so much anymore. Hmm. It's pretty much just an old weather-beaten landmark now. Oh, okay, he did give me this quest. I was wondering. While trying to find Muddy Mike Durbin for Arthur Kilpatrick, you heard an answer machine message said he headed downtown. Even though Arthur has cut you loose, maybe you can get some money for finding him. Carnival of Death in the Regent's Riddle. I think we need to travel to the next location for that as well. Could use some humanity. machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> Together, they're learning to make the most of it.
Now, Krishini Bond has requested that I uh, sleep with Jeanette, the crazy side of the Malkavian owner of the asylum. But I don't know if I had enough seduction in the beginning. If it turns out I can't bang her in this LP, then I'm going to do a special video after the game is complete with how to bang Jeanette. I gotta hit the button. Kinda helps. Where are you at, baby love? Guess she ain't here. See, completed quest, sibling rivalry, bad blood. Bloody mess, jumping the bale, replanting a lily. So we've done all the main quests. Everyone just standing around like a bunch of douches. What do you want? Are you here to insult me some more? No, I'm here to apologize. Really? <laughs> that is so cool. It's like, oh man, I knew you weren't an asshole.
talk to my master. The master you couldn't talk about. Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you that. Oh man, his name's Bertram Tum. He's a Nosferatu. What do you do for him? Oh man. Bertram Tums. This Asian dude has been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire. Something like a vampire. I don't know. So what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing got lost. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy and he's around all the time, like, in the distance watching me. Walk up next to me? Oh man. Want me to take care of it? Oh yeah, right on. Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire. The only clue I got is this driver's license. Driver's license? Shouldn't that tell you who he is? All right, I'll take care of it. Sounds good. I got a couple questions. You like being a ghoul? I'm better on sucking on a nasty dude's dick, let me tell you. Got this driver's license. California driver license, the name on the license is a Virgil Crumb. I spoke with Bertram. Save my game. Just testing something out here. Alright, he doesn't give me any other options. That was just a test. Alright, let's see if we can... Nox is being stalked by an Asian vampire. He wants it to go away. Let's go to the bail bondsman and we can check out Virgil Crumb on the crime computer.
hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Am I the problem? Let's Bond written. Two counts, public disturbance, drunk, and nudity. Caller, you've got the first shot at dead tonight. Subject's corpse identified being held in medical clinic. This fucking dude's dead! So we're heading off to the medical clinic now. Hey, baby, how are you doing? More cowbell! Subject died from heart failure. Personal items in storage B. Dude, you're not looking too groovy, man. Nice tat on the chesticle, though. An engagement ring for a girl who's singles day ATM limit special. Foxy boxes key. Kill that shit. Well, we know where Foxy Boxes is. Let's head over there. Dude, you want to go? I'll whoop that ass. Foxy boxes. This bitch standing out in the rain and like nothing. You were gonna catch a cold, nipples. I think this is the last quest we can do here at the moment without going downtown and traversing back and forth. If there's others you know about, feel free to leave them in the comments.
I don't want to type in all these dates. My initial observation of the city indicate that the Kenites, Kenites here are both scattered and unorganized. They are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. Gotta be exact. These Kenites are curious and a fragile race. They waste the gift of their mortality on petty schemings and fleshy gain. We will have a little problem making this city our own. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the Kenites, a Nosferatu, I believe they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I began to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. This must be the Asian vampire talking about Knox. It seems that I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the prince. I know very little about this individual, but the agent seems much more resourceful than most Kenites I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross. The agent of whom I spoke before has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. An altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. You will find little resistance if we come here in force. Where are you, Chinese motherfucker? Aha! Lo Wang? Chong, pa ching, ching, chong. God damn right, I got a motherfucking katana. Shin Gunto! And a crossbow. Sweet! Give me that son of a bitch. Melee combat requirement five. Holy testicles. Tuesday. That might be worth going to. Damage potential is 22. My melee's only at 2, so how am I using it? I guess I have penalties or something. It's interesting. Ah, melee over here. Combined total. Gotcha. Cool. I have five. I can use it. Sweet baby Jesus. I'm a motherfucking ninja now. Let's return and tell Knox. I'm a motherfucking ninja. I'm a motherfucking ninja. I'm gonna kill every motherfucker I see. I'm a motherfucking ninja. Kill you. Kill you. Kill this fucking bitch too. Kill every cop I see. Don't fuck with the Vampire D. I'm a fucking ninja. You better run. I'm a fucking ninja. I'll kill you, my son. You gonna beat me with a stick? Try Katana Blade, motherfucker! What you ducking over here for, bitch? Ah! 
guys are vaginas just standing there. Anyways, just having a little bit of fun. I'm taking a screenshot. We don't want to go all ninja and shit. Not yet. Wait a minute. Walking right by the place. I have a terrible sense of direction, by the way. <laughs> if I'm in open, if I'm on the open modern streets, I am I am useless. You got to put me in dungeons. I can find my way through either the beholder too, blindfolded, but be goddamn if I can't find my way down a one-way street. Wait, where'd this peck? Oh, there he is. Yo, dude, do that thing yet? I did, dude. You don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm looking forward to it, Knox. As long as I get more cash and experience from you. Hey, baby, how you doing? What are you doing out of my dreams, beautiful? Even if my pants were on fire, I would not take them off in front of you. Um... Um... My boyfriend will be back any minute. Standing up here all alone. Come on, I'm trying to jam out on these instruments. <laughs> That's awesome. I just remembered I'm gay. That's great. Anyways, folks, that wraps it up for this video. See you soon with more Vampire. We're going to be taking a cab to downtown.